Now, in this part of the question, we're given the curve C, which is y equals x plus 3, all multiplied by x minus 1, all squared. We're asked to sketch the graph, showing clearly the coordinates of the points where the curve meets the coordinate axis. So, first of all then, we'll draw the axes, obviously label them, x and y, and what have we got here? Well, when this bracket is expanded, it's going to be an x squared term. And then multiplied by this x, it's going to be a positive x cubed graph. Now, positive x cubed graphs will look like this type of shape, whereas negative x cubed graphs look like that kind of shape. So we're looking at something like this and we want to know first of all where it crosses the x-axis. Well it crosses the x-axis when y is 0. So if we were to just say rub this out and just let's say when y equals 0 we would have x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 1 all squared would equal 0. So therefore x plus 3 would equal 0 or x minus 1 would equal 0. And what that means is that x would equal negative 3 or x would equal 1. So I know it crosses the x-axis then at negative 3 and 1. So we're marking negative 3 say here and we'll put 1 here. Now we've got an interesting point here. We've got here x minus 1 all squared. It's what we often refer to as a repeated root. So in other words you've got x equals 1 and x equals 1 again. And in terms of the graph that means that the graph touches the x-axis at a repeated root. And in this case that's going to be the point 1. So just remember that, that it's going to touch the x-axis rather than go through it. Also should look at where the graph crosses the y-axis and that's basically when x is 0. And When x is 0 you can have y equals 3 multiplied by minus 1 all squared. So I'll just put that down as y equals 3 multiplied by minus 1 all squared. And that comes to 3. So it crosses the y-axis then at 3. So just mark 3 up here. So we've got a basic idea what the curve looks like. Remember I sketched it as being like this kind of shape. So knowing that it touches the x-axis at the point 1, the graph is clearly going to come up through the minus 3, round through the 3, down here and up like that. So I'll draw that in, so the graph comes up through the minus 3. It will go a bit higher than the 3 and then it will fall away down through to the 1 and touch that and then back up like that. It's very tempting by the way, to make this point the maximum point. It clearly is shifted more to the left. So try and make sure that you make that go up a bit more than the 3, come back down again and then back up again like that. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of the first part of this question.